good evening everyone uh, we just saw the commendable work what java fx and clicker software teams have done now we being the extendable educational systems uh, team or rather the blender group as we call it uh, we would like to show what we have contributed to the blender software um, you all know that blender it's a 3d graphics application it's used for lots of purposes, UV unwrapping, texturing, whatever. But then the most uh, important uh, applications are animation, making animation movies, and of course games. And we are here to uh, show the educational animations that we have uh, implemented with the GUI that uh, our group has made. Um, Blender, basically, it works with Python. It basically works with Python, Python being a, a very good environment, a programming, high level programming language to work with. And uh, Blender and Python come together in a, a documented form, Blender API applications, the documentations, which have lots of uh, modules, packages as well, which uh, give you lots of functions, uh, which are used for additional uh, tool making purposes. Uh, now we have uh, made a GUI uh, for the users, for the Nave users, basically. Uh, and this uh, GUI, it contains a password window which takes the password for the MySQL application and a main window which contains a list of blend files. The uh, whole list of all uh, blend files present in your current system. And there is a search engine too, a special feature to extract uh, whatever version of blend file that we currently need to use. And we have the objects window, which has all the uh, declared uh, modifiable objects of the uh, blend file and all the attributes of the blend file as well. I mean the objects, uh, all the attributes of the objects. And uh, we have uh, XML uh, file import facility to import all the uh, uh, values and attribute uh, uh, attributes of the objects basically and uh, now we have actually stored all the object attribute uh, values and everything in an XML file the XML file uh, because there's an XML parser in Python which uh, which has a start element handler n element handler and character data handler functions these are used for the start tag and end tag and collecting the data these data it has been converted into a form of list which we are using out here to extract into the blend file. Now uh, we have uh, used the Blender API documentation to reblend the uh, whole blend file that we have obtained according to the user's changed attributes, the modified attributes basically. So we have used some of the IPO modules and other uh, render modules that are available already in the Blender API documentation for this purpose. And the best part about this is that uh, here we have a provision to add a logic file. If each animation has a unique logic file, we can include that to this uh, uh, blend, I mean this uh, whole system and coordinate with it so it can work for e uh, each unique uh, animation as well. And um, here we have done one more important job that is uh, we have uh, used it for a set of frames. It's like uh, for an animation uh, the user gives the start and the end frame and the whole changes are reflected from the uh, whole lot of existing frames from the start to the end. Uh, and this can be rendered as well. In a sense uh, the basic problem with the Blender application right now is that we don't have any button or anything which can directly render the AVI format of this uh, Blend file. So here we have the uh, application where the number of frames can be specified, the start and the end frame of each, uh, f uh, each blend file, and be it whatever. If you want one minute, uh, one minute of the animation, so you can give the corresponding frames, and it will directly render the AVI file for uh, the corresponding blend file. So uh, we have the video uh, effect of, I mean the video version of uh, the blend file which can be viewed anywhere with all the uh, media players. And uh, the last part 
is uh, the saving of the modified blend file. This is for the database purposes. Here we have saved the blend file for uh, in a proper format. It's like if the name of our file is abc.blend, the uh, saved modified version would be uh, abc-1.blend. This has been uh, uh, here used because we want to uh, we want it to be in a version format. If someone wants to access a particular blend file or change a uh, blend file, he can see if that change has already been implemented in one of those versions. If not, then he can create a new version of the blend file. So it uh, reduces the task of the uh, person who wants to access it. So that's what we have done in a brief uh, format. And now we'd like to show the working of our uh, project. I call upon Amish for it. Uh, thanks. Uh, basically, the aim of our project was to allow the user to change the animation uh, uh, dynamically when he sees the animation. Suppose he has an animation of uh, a math animation to show how 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. But now he wants to show an animation uh, to show 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Traditionally, what he has to do is, he has to go to the animator and tell him to make a new animation. But now, what we have done is, we have, we have given a GUI to the user where he can change the values of 3 and 4 to 4 and 4 and accordingly the result will be shown. But uh, there should be a limit and a control over what the user can put its input as. So what we have done is, we have made an we have made a GUI for the animator so that he can put conditions and limits uh, as in the range what the user can put when he puts the value in the GUI. So we show the animation uh, the GUI that we have made for uh, the user uh, the animator. Uh, this is the animation to um, show that three plus uh, uh, four plus three is equal to seven. First, we'll input the blend file description. What is the blend file all about? Uh, this uh, we'll input as uh, it's a math description uh, blend file. Yeah, enter. Uh, just take it towards the left. Now we'll select the objects uh, which can be allowed, which are allowed to be changed uh, when the user sees the GUI. So we'll select three, four, uh, plus, and uh, yeah, and seven. That's not seven. Uh, shift to the last frame. Yeah, we also select seven. Yeah, we'll click select. It'll show all the objects. These are the four objects we've selected. Now we'll uh, select. The, we'll try to change the uh, parameters of each object. Suppose we uh, click the first object the font 004. Uh, now we have the options to set the range for uh, each attribute of that object. The location in the x direction, the location in the y direction, the location in the z direction, rotation, size, etc. Uh, if it's a text object, then uh, we have the option to uh, say whether uh, that uh, text, or whether the text of that object can be changed or not. So to activate whether the text can be uh, changed uh, by the user, we have to click activate. Click activate. So now, um, when the XML file is created, the uh, a tag of text changeable is added to the XML file. Now we'll uh, set the range of uh, location X. Re uh, reduce it. Reduce it. Reduce it. So the oh, click okay yeah minimum value is set as uh, one and maximum value we set as three. So the current value is two point five something, but uh, the minimum value can be one and maximum value can be uh, three. Like that we can change it for all. Uh, uh, now we'll save the frame. This uh, all these changes have been made in a particular frame. So we'll first save the frame changes. Uh, save frame. Uh, now we can change the frame and uh, make the uh, changes in that frame also. Uh, suppose in the, if we change the frame, the uh, timeline. Yeah, this is a new frame. Now we can change the um, range in this frame also. Now suppose again we change the frame of location x in this frame. Uh, 
ओके या सेव फ्रेम एंड नाउ वील सेव द एंटायर थिंग एंड वील एग्जिट सेव एंड एग्जिट एक्सटेंड दिस ओके सो नाउ वी वी आर लेफ्ट विद द अदर थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट वी हैड सिलेक्टेड इनिशियली फॉर द टाइमिंग वील शो ओनली वन मोर ऑब्जेक्ट जस्ट सिलेक्ट वन मोर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड शो इट फास्ट we'll again uh, again change the minimum value okay fine uh, save frame and save and exit fine so uh, now we are left with these two objects we'll uh, we'll just go go a little fast we'll click done uh, now we have an option to add a logic whether uh, you want to do a plus or a minus or a multiplication uh, so we'll uh, select a logic file uh, after going we add logic dumbo logic dumbo logic yeah so uh, now we'll put the uh, logic file description as to what the logic is all about we'll say it's a math uh, logic and the logic name is math now we need to select the objects which are the operands in our animation so 4 and 3 are the objects which are the op, uh, which are the operand objects so we we'll select 4 and 3 and click the select operands button okay uh, the result object will be the object 7 uh, change the frame uh result yeah these are the possible options of uh, the operators th that can be used plus minus multipl uh, multiplication division and all now the result object is the object 7 and uh, we we'll select the operator object that is we need to change uh, this text also that is uh, whether it has to be plus or minus so we'll select that operator object as well uh, click on done okay so we can add as many logic as we want this is just one logic it will show the new logic with its own id uh, we will click exit as soon as we click ex exit uh, an xml file of all the data the animator has uh, given for the range will be uh, stored in that xml file and the name of the xml file will be the name of the blend file that was uh, opened initially no bar bar so this is the xml file uh, uh, with the all the contents that we had given initially uh, the maximum value the minimum value rotation and all for each object for each frame then uh, go down we'll have the lo uh, logic part as well how big will this file grow with your very large number of um uh, the file uh, size can go in mbs but uh, the parsing of xml files is very fast so it doesn't matter okay yeah we have the logic part as well in it uh, which describes we have the id if we add one more logic the id will uh, become two uh, so we can add as many logic as we want in one particular animation once we have this xml file uh, it will be given to the user gui where it, it can use the contents and put it into the database that part will be shown by my friend aditya uh, 